Hello world, I'm Daryl from MakeCode, and today we're going to learn how to add health to enemies in MakeCode arcade games. So before us, I have a uh, simple uh, arcade game that we built in a previous video uh, called How to Make a Space Shooter, and I'll link to that down in the description. It's a pretty simple game, so I've got our hero character in our spaceship on the left, and coming in from the right are a bunch of enemy ships, and if they run into the player, we lose life, and uh, I can shoot down the enemy ships. Now, it's a little easy in this game right now because it's sort of one shot uh, per enemy ship. I think a great way to add some difficulty to this game would be to add multiple uh, hits per enemy ship. So to do that, I'm going to add health bars to the enemy ship. Okay, so here's our code, uh, and here is the bit of code that creates enemy ships. So this is what I'm going to um, modify. Now, to add health bars, I'm going to use an extension. Make Code Arcade comes with a bunch of useful blocks uh, built in, but there's a lot of other blocks that you can use in your program uh, through something called extensions. If you click on Advanced down here and scroll down until you see Extensions and click on that, you're going to see a whole bunch of different extensions. Um, that you can use. Uh, in our case, I'm going to search for status bar because I know that the extension we want is called status bar. And I'm going to click on that. And that's going to add a new category to this toolbox on the left here. Uh, that's called the status bar category. And here's a bunch of blocks that we can now use in our program. All right, so the most basic thing I want to do is for every enemy ship, I want to add a health bar. So I'm going to go and drag out the uh, set status bar block. And this is going to create a new status bar. And the kind is going to be health. There's sort of these built-in um, kinds here. Actually, maybe I'll select enemy health. That seems more appropriate. And now we see the status bar kind of floating in the middle of the screen. That's not really what we want. We want it to attach to enemy ships. So in status bar, there is an attach block, attach status bar to sprite. And we're going to attach the status bar to the enemy ship that we just created. So when we create sprites, they are remembered in a variable that you can then use to set different properties like x, y, things like that. And also, uh, you can reference it when using blocks like the attach block. All right, great. So now we see a whole bunch of enemies coming across the screen uh, with health bars. But um, they're the health, you know, they're not taking down health as we shoot them. Great. So let's go over to our collision code where we have projectiles overlapping enemies. So this code is what runs when a bullet hits um, an enemy. All right. So right now we are destroying the enemy. So this other sprite refers to the enemy. And we don't want to destroy that enemy anymore. I'm going to just drag that. Uh, block off to the side. Instead, we want to lower the health um, on that enemy's um, health bar. So I'm going to click on status bar. And I'm going to say change status bar value. And this is going to let us lower the uh, value in that status bar. And so if I just tried something, you know, like negative five, uh, let's see what happens. So I shoot a bunch. And you can see that when I shoot this guy, those other guys' uh, health bars are going down. It's not quite uh, lining up right. So I don't want um, the status bar variable. That refers to the last status bar ever made. So you're always damaging the latest ship. That's not what we want. Instead, I want to go to the status bar extension and drag out the status bar of kind attached to block. So I'm going to say uh, in here, when we change the status bar value, we want to change the enemy health status bar that is attached to the enemy sprite. And the enemy sprite is this other sprite variable. This is called a local variable. And it uh, refers to the enemy that was part of the collision uh, that ran this code. All right, so now um, when we shoot enemies, you can see that it's taking down this enemy's health. And when we shoot that enemy, you see it's taking down that enemy's health. Uh, and everything kind of works like we would expect there. Okay, so for one thing is we're not doing, I think, enough damage. Let's do three times as much damage. 
because otherwise it'll take a long time uh, to clear all these enemies. All right, so quite a bit more damage. Uh, but you notice that when we get to zero on the enemies, uh, they're not going away, nothing's happening yet. So to do that, uh, I'm gonna go, go to the status bar category again, scroll down until you see on status bar of kind, health uh, zero status. Okay, so I'm gonna say when an enemy health bar reaches zero, then we want to uh, destroy that enemy. So I'm gonna drag this destroy block that we had earlier and I don't want to destroy the other sprite. Uh, there is no other sprite here. Instead, I want to destroy the sprite attached to the status bar that went to zero. So there's an, a, a relationship between status bars and sprites. From a sprite, you can get the status bar. That's what this block does. From the status bar, you can get the sprite. So this status bar, which is the one that went to zero, uh, we want that sprite, and then we want to destroy uh, that sprite. All right, there we go. So now uh, we've got health on our enemies. We can tweak this kind of however we want. There's lots and lots of uh, ways you can customize health bars. So uh, here when I'm creating the health bar, uh, we're setting the width and the height. I think I'm going to set maybe the height to uh, you know less than that and maybe uh, you know, the width, the less than that as well. And now you can see, you know, the status bars are, are smaller. And I think that's more appropriate. They don't, they don't need to take over uh, quite so much of the screen. Um, and there's a bunch of other great properties here that you can work with. For example, if you want to customize the look and feel of the status bar, maybe, you know, uh, since it's enemies, we want mm, yellow on purple. I don't know, that might look kind of weird. <laughs> Um, let's see. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, lots, of, lots of different ways uh, you can customize things. You can also set what the maximum value was. So by default, um, status bars have a maximum value of uh, 100. And you can change that um, uh, with this block. So you can say set status bar value. You can set the maximum value to, let's say, 50. That has, uh, should have the amount of health these all have. And now you can see they go down uh, twice as fast. And I'm going to set that back to 100 just because uh, I think that was a nice default. OK, so thanks for tuning in. That was how you can add status bars to sprites. So a very common case is health on enemies. It could also be health on our own ship. It could be things like hunger uh, You know, in a survival game. There's lots of uh, useful ways to use status bars. Thanks for watching.